Okay, so now we want to look at some simple diode applications. So if we go to the content and go to lecture notes and diode and diode applications. Okay, so the first one is a rectifier. So if we go look at a rectifier, so you see it's designed to convert alternating or AC current into DC current. So we're taking some AC signal going up and down and we want to kind of filter it off on the top. Okay, and so basically you see it just looks like we have a signal that looks like this and we want to create it only on one half. Well, that just means that we want to block the current going the other direction, which is basically what a diode does. So you see we throw in the diode so that when my current's trying to go this direction, it goes straight through. When the diode when the current tries to go negative the other direction, then the diode blocks it. So let's look at our simple circuit here. Okay, so if we run that Okay, I'm gonna try that again. I think I clicked on the wrong one. Okay, so here is our basic circuit. So if I run this and look at the voltage right here, here is my sine wave. So it's going from zero to 10, negative, back and forth, okay? So if I look at the voltage here, you see that it's going up, but then when it tries to go negative, it just clips it off. So if I look at the voltage right here, it just looks like a set. And so the average value, if I hold down the control, I can get the average value is about 2.86 volts. So it kind of sits somewhere right in here is the average. Now this isn't the, a very good rectifier because that doesn't look like DC. It's kind of messy. So what we want to do is we want to come in here and add in a capacitor to filter it off. So let's just put in a micro. So now what we see is, is that when we go down it's charging up and then when it starts to go negative the capacitor discharges and then it charges up, discharges, charges up and so that's how it filters it off and the bigger you make the capacitor the slower it discharges and so it starts to look like a nice flat signal. So that is our rectifier. Now, if we want to make it a little bit less, we can go to what's called a full wave rectifier. So let's look at what this full wave rectifier looks like. Okay, so in this case, let's simplify this down and do it a little bit at a time. So we're going to start like this. So when my voltage is positive, you see, oops, I deleted the wrong ones. Let's get these on. Okay, so when my voltage is positive, you see my volt, my current's going to flow oh through this diode across the resistor and then down. Okay, and then when my voltage is negative, then my current's flowing, you know, this way, and you see now, and so for the first time, it was flowing from here to here. Now it's flowing backwards from here to here. So you see it's flowing opposite direction through this resistor, which is going to cause it to flip around. So if I run this, here is my input voltage. Whoops, here is my input voltage. Let me show that one more time. So if you hold your right button down there, but keep the button held and then pull it over to the other side, see where it changes colors, I can make a differential voltage. So that's that voltage. Um, and then you see if I look through this one, it only has current on the one half. And if I look through this one, it has current on the other half. So if I look at my output voltage here, 
compared to this input voltage. You see when this one goes up, it goes up. But then when it's going to go down, it flips it around and goes the opposite way through the resistor. And so you see I get this a ripple for both the positive and the negative. And then I can come in here and add in a capacitor just like we did before. And then you see it charges up and discharges, but now you see that it is charging every cycle, so it needs less capacitance to get it to work. Okay, so that is our rectifier. Now we go down. The other most common one is called a clipping circuit. So in a clipping circuit, you have this sinusoidal voltage, but I don't want it to go above this value, so I want to clip it off and make sure it doesn't go above that value. Okay, and you see again that's just done with a simple diode. So what the diode does is if the diode is reverse biased or at zero it's off and my output equals my input. When this turns on it's going to limit that voltage. Okay, so let's go look at our limiting circuit. Okay, so here is my voltage signal going up to two volts. I have a diode. And you see that when it's negative, it goes straight through. And when it goes above some value, it clips. And it clips at some small value. Some of the other things that we can do is we can... Oops, we can put in two diodes and then it's going to clip so now I have two of these at like the 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts and they're going to add together. Now it's only clipping off the top not the negative so if I want to clip off the negative then I just have to flip them around the other way so that it blocks the other direction. So these are going to turn on and clip a positive. These are going to turn on when it's negative. And then I do this, and you see that it clips the top and then clips the bottom. So this one turns on at this point, and this one turns on at that point. So this is my top and bottom clipped. And the more diodes I have in there, the larger the voltage is.